iGEM is one of the few opportunities for undergraduates to actually do cutting edge synthetic biology research in the laboratory and it's an opportunity uniquely offered by the biochemical engineering department because of the mix of biology and engineering that's inherent in our research. The Department of Biochemical Engineering at UCL is unique in terms of our discipline and approach to where we are actually teaching the discipline. So biochemical engineering deals with bringing a scientific idea which has been developed in a lab to a point where you and I as people using medicines can use the medicines in the safest, most affordable possible way. This is a very young and vibrant department. We have 20 members of staff. In fact, we've recruited three uh, only lately. And what is so uh, very fundamental about our philosophy is that all staff are both active in research as well as teaching. Right? And we expect excellence at both levels. We have something like 30 million pounds worth of facilities, which are indeed unique, not only in the UK, and I can say in, in many places around the world which gives the ability to the students who come to the department to get hands-on experience with the sort of equipment and scientific experimentation which is usually not available in many other places. In fact, we find that the facilities that we have are such that you cannot possibly find them in some of the small companies either, and they are forever coming to us for understanding of what, the, how they have approached bioprocessing. We attract the brightest and most enthusiastic uh, students to our department and we very proactively encourage them to take part in competitions within the department, within UCL and elsewhere. To give you an example, only in the, over the past year we had one group of our students who put forward a concept to the Abbott uh, University Innovation Challenge and as a result won a prize of $10,000 for their efforts. Uh, another competition is the iGEM competition uh, where they became one of the top 16 groups in the whole world to actually get a prize. Internally we get industrialists who every year create prizes for the best research, best engineering design, best business concept, best pilot plant activities, and most of these are done on the individual as well as group based. In addition, we encourage students to actually increase the, the depth and width of their know-how by uh, providing them the opportunities to spend the year in industry, uh, as, as well as spending time abroad. We have a, a various uh, uh, international collaborative work across the world, going all the way from the US, for instance, in Caltech, to the universities in Singapore, Australia, as well as Europe. The Department of Biochemical Engineering does cutting edge research into uh, stem cell manufacture, the production of complex biological medicines, and also manufacturing of useful chemicals in a sustainable and uh, biological manner. So because of the nature of the department's work, it combines rigorous engineering approaches with biological material. It's a perfect host department for the iGEM competition, the International Genetically Engineered Machines Synthetic Biology Competition. The department has hosted iGEM since 2009 and a number of students have every year have gone on to have great success in the competition. This year over 200 teams from all over the world that compete by creating modified bacteria from standardized parts and actually so they competing with the quality of their experiments, with the quality of their science engagement. It's really a very multidisciplinary, very multifaceted project and that's, that's what makes it so exciting. I think the best part about iGEM for me was that I got to do more experienced research as an undergraduate. We got to decide as a team what we wanted to look into and look up the scientific papers ourselves determine the, the direction our research was taking, doing all of the troubleshooting and the problem solving uh, with the help of our supervisor. And so it felt as much as possible um, like a very senior experience, which was 
really exciting. Over the whole summer when we were working in the lab, I, I, I really learned a lot. Firstly, with, uh, with working with my other friends on the project and also developing my skills in, in the lab. It was involved in both the construction of, of biobricks and the characterization of the engineered bacteria strains that we developed. And, tr and throughout the whole, whole of the project, I learned how to genetically modify organisms. And I also learned a lot about how to develop uh, experiments in order to test and characterize uh, those organisms. So during iGEM, I was, I was involved quite heavily in the characterization of some of the biobricks that we were building. Um, specifically working with the, uh, the department's uh, rapid design and fabrication facility to um, design and build um, a scaled-down device for modelling uh, oceanic shear forces as part of the project. Um, and I was also part of the, the presentation team uh, that, that went on to win the best presentation prize at, at MIT at the World Jamboree. Through the iGEM competition, I had the chance to um, meet some of the great experts in synthetic biology, to attend different conferences around the globe, and also to work in the UCL labs. The support that we received from the UCL staff as well as from PhD researchers was tremendous. And what I could say is that when you go for a job interview and you say about that great experience and how much you learned, uh, it just gives you an advantage. For iGEM, I was in charge of the visual graphics. Um, so that includes the website, the presentation and uh, the t-shirts that we had. So um, also, I, because I'm from an architecture school, I brought the whole project into an architectural aspect. So, and that meant kind of pushing the idea that I already had into a built environment. Last year, actually, I was a team member then. Um, I just saw a poster and I thought it was, sounded really interesting. And um, actually, after that experience, um, I was one of the students who gave the biochemical engineering department a lot of feedback. And they asked me to, to be involved this year in kind of the overall strategy, um, the recruitment process and so on. And I kind of became a team leader for this year's um, iGEM team. iGEM worked in the ACB um, biochemical engineering lab over the summer and it was really exciting to have our own lab desk for the whole four months that we were working. It seemed like a, a fantastic way to get involved with uh, a lot of different kinds of students from a lot of uh, different backgrounds uh, in a really a multidisciplinary uh, group that all really worked closely together. I was amazed about the scope of the whole project and how students are allowed to work independently and elaborate their own project. And I thought that's an amazing opportunity for me to learn more and gain more skills. I was in charge of sponsorship, um, a radio show with which we broadcast and interviewed all sorts of other iGEM teams around the world um, and other people who are figureheads in synthetic biology, so Richard Ketney from Imperial College. So iGEM really is a fantastic opportunity for students to uh, take their own research interests forward in synthetic biology and it's, it's something that uh, you can do as a biology student, as biochemical engineering student, uh, f students from biochemistry, molecular biology, but also from departments such as mathematics, physics, computer science, which is my field, um, or even arts and architecture. We don't train our students for here and now only, but for the future. We want them to be able to be ready to deal with challenges which are offered by the new molecules coming on stream through science, and also be able to respond quickly to the global uh, problems which may arise, for instance, for the next generation of requirements for vaccines, uh, how to deal with the new uh, regenerative medicine uh, that is going to be put on the market and infectious diseases. I was really uh, amazed at the facilities and the pilot plan when I first came to UCL. I did not realize that, uh, that such facilities were, were even available for undergrads to utilize. I've been here for, for four years already, um, so uh, I've got 
uh, plenty of uh, ex experience within the department working on the, in the pilot facility, which is a, a great opportunity to get some, some hands-on experience with actual uh, unit operations, um, which is something you don't really get uh, anywhere else. Uh, it's quite, quite unique. With the biochemical engineering department, it was nice to get hands-on the lab with the scientists and opening up my research. I really love it here at UCL. It's great to be involved with all of the other departments and see what everyone else is up to. Choosing the biochemical engineering department probably has been the best choice I've ever made. First, it helped me grow up as a person. It helped me develop my skills. Uh, it definitely increased my employability. Uh, and I could say that I can strongly recommend it to anyone who has passion for knowledge and science. I can really recommend iGEM as a project and UCL as a university for new students. We were ranked uh, as the best iGEM team in the UK, so if you want to do synthetic biology as a student, you should probably be here. Studying biochemical engineering at this department gives students an excellent mix of skills in bioscience research and also engineering approaches, chemical engineering, which sets students up for both research and industrial careers going forward. So I'd strongly encourage any students that are wishing to do uh, research and sharpen their research skills to come to the Biochemical Engineering Department and have a great summer doing iGEM. Mm -hmm.